Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Turpin, and a special guest I have with me today is Miss Yoen. Hey guys, it's me, Miss Yoen. Um, if you don't know me, I help around every classroom in this school as much as I can. So you may see her pop into your room and help, and so when she's in there, she can help you. So today, um, she's a special guest because guess what she can do? She can speak two languages. Isn't that awesome? Yes. So I'm going to say some things, and then she's going to translate it to Spanish. Okay, you ready? You are doing such a great job with car riders in the morning. Estás haciendo un trabajo excelente para la línea de los vehículos. When you get here in the morning, make sure that you have your book bag on and your lunchbox and you are ready to get out the door. Cuando vengas en la mañana, asegúrate que andas la mochila y tu lonchera y que estás listo para continuar con tu día. Tomorrow we're going to start something new where we're going to have two signs. Let me show you. Mañana van a comenzar algo nuevo donde van a haber dos rótulos. Te va a enseñar. When you see the red, it means stay in the car. We're not ready for you to come out yet. When you see the green, it means we're ready. Come on out. Cuando ves el ojo, la hoja roja significa quédate en el carro, no te muevas todavía. Y cuando tengas la hoja verde, significa que te puedes ir. So once again, thank you. You are doing a great job. Have a good day. Don't forget to love, learn, and lead. Love you. Bye. Entonces, tenga buen día. No se olviden de amar, uh, aprender, uh, love, y, and lead. y ser líder. Tenga Have a great día. day. Nos vemos. Hi, I'm Miss McCluskey. I teach reading in small groups here at Central Elementary. Hey, I'm Teresa Stewart. I'm the in-school coordinator here for Special Ed Services. You'll see me all over the school greeting everybody and popping in and out of classrooms. So, um... Want to talk about the weather a little bit? Absolutely. Okay. Well, to me, it felt a little bit cooler going out to car riders in the morning, and I love it. Falls just right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Today's weather calls for a high of 88. So much better than last week. We're starting to cool down. Our lunch choices for today are tangerine chicken or ham and cheese sandwich. What are you going to choose? Probably tangerine chicken. I love Chinese food. Mm. Me too. It's one of my favorites. Happy birthday today to Natalie Heron, Callie Smith, Macy Edelman, Aaliyah Sarker, Victoria Brown, and Reagan Crumbly. All right, here's our readathon update. We are currently at $23,456.38. Wow! We are almost halfway to our goal of $50,000. 387 students have activated their accounts. If you have not started collecting today, and um, if you have not started collecting today, there is still plenty of time. Just ask your parents to set you up an account and start sending out texts, emails, and Facebook messages. You'll be amazed at how many donations you can get. Miss Holly's class is still in the lead with $1,485. Ms. Madden's class is in second place, close behind her with $1,407. And we have already have 20 people who've raised at least $250 and have earned the Pelican Snowball Party. Really? Can I earn the Pelican Snowball Party? All you have to do is read. Okay, okay. That's my favorite. I love it. And 100 people have raised $100 and earned a ticket to the Central Go-Kart Race. Hey, I've heard, I see that around school a little bit. Have you seen that? I have, that? and last year's was fabulous. Oh, that's going to be amazing. And now we are going to have a special announcement from Miss Hawksworth about the readathon. Hey guys, I wanted to show you something very exciting with our readathon. If you have started earning money, raising money, when as soon as you start earning donations, you're going to see wrap bucks that will pop up on your dashboard and you will have money to spend in your Rat Bucks account and you can go to the prize store. And I wanted to just show you, this is one student who has already earned 37 Rat Bucks. Now, he's raised about $250 and so it's giving him $37 to spend right now. So, if you hit shop now, it will show you all of the cool things that you can earn. So if you raise probably about $1,000, you could get an Xbox or Nintendo Switch or a tablet. But I'm gonna come on down to some of the um, 
you know, smaller items. There are all kinds of things that you can purchase on your store, from art sets to binoculars to squish balls, markers, paddle balls, colored pencils, a beauty set. I mean, look at all these really, really neat toys and items that you can purchase. And you can make a choice. If you have $40 in your Rack Bucks account, you can choose one large item for $40, or you can get multiple items. You could buy a plush zebra, and you might want walkie-talkies. So, um, as you're earning your money, go through and start looking at your store. Now, if I were you, I would not use my wrap bucks yet. I would wait until I have earned all the donations that I know I'm gonna earn, and then at the end, do all of your shopping. But at the end of next week, you need to make sure you spend these wrap bucks because if you do not spend them on your dashboard, they will disappear. But I thought this would be a really neat thing to show you and get you excited about hopefully getting out and asking for more donations. So, happy shopping! Hey guys, let's talk about student council. Okay. It's time for three through five students to begin thinking about student council campaigning. Are you interested in representing your homeroom in the student council? Mm -hmm. If so, you need to work on a speech for your classroom and homeroom Create posters for the hallway. I love seeing the posters in the hallway. They're the best. Mm -hmm. um, a Canva, Google slide presentation, or just suggestions of what you can do for your campaign. However, you cannot bribe your classmates with gifts and treats. Voting will be completed by next Friday, so act now. You want to talk about FCA, Ms. Stewart? Sure, I love FCA. Um, fifth graders, if you're interested in serving on the FCA student leadership team, stop by the front office and get an application packet from Ms. Ashley. These will be due August 23rd. That's right around the corner, guys. Yes, it is. All right, National Calendar Day, or National Day on the Calendar, however you want to say it. Did you know that today is National Relaxation Day? A wonderful way to relax is by doing yoga. Here is Miss Brown's class, and she's, they're gonna show us one way that you can relax. Yoga is a great way to relax. Don't forget to show your wisdom in all you do today. Remember, wisdom is our character word of the month, and it's an excellent way to earn roar points. One more thing, you are gonna love this. We have a new addition to the announcements. Joke of the day. Woohoo! Are y'all ready? Here we go. <laughs> hey, did you hear about the suicide? No, what happened? It was intense. 